Hello, hello, and welcome back to Sim Airport, where we pretend to be an airport manager. All right, so let's get this game started. What are we doing? We have our airport, which is growing. Uh, we've got four escalators leading up. We've got a restroom here, which is actually I'm happy to see is being used pretty well and we go up the first set of stairs and we've got all the check-in desks and all the checkout desks and whatnot and then we've got security here and so people go in here they finish all of their ticketing and then they move in through these doors these are all doors these are walls i guess so they go in here and then they can get sorted over here so there's uh, four lines for coach and one for first class and uh, all right, so that's a bunch of um, yeah. So essentially, none of the coach people can get through because I haven't activated their little entrance place for overnight for the graveyard shift. This is the graveyard shift, isn't it? Yeah, this is the graveyard shift. So. Um, yeah, they walk in through security and then they come down here and then you've got uh, three gates here, three big gates and then we come down and we've got one, two, three, four, five small gates over here. Uh, we've got one gate here, which is the standby gate, if I recall correctly, but although, you know, we've changed stuff around a little bit, so maybe it's not the standby gate. We've got a cafe over here, a large cafe. We've got a first class over here and we've got three large gates here right so now that is where we are we are looking to see if we can expand the airport over here i would like to have another runway and uh, so on and so forth for now um this is how our flight status or this is how it looks this is how the flights are coming in and the flights are going out seems like at night things are a little bit light so we could actually fit in more flights during the night i guess that could be a good way of doing things just to increase the amount of money we get but i don't think we are strapped for cash in any particular way we're making uh, good money how much did we make yesterday we made 186,000 yesterday which is good money but i mean just getting a couple of more flights extra wouldn't hurt us uh this is what was this there was something that came in oh is our investments done is the government yeah the government grants for investments is done seems like we got nine hundred and fifty eight thousand off of it that's good so i guess we can unlock the eam flights by getting in by by completing this which is having uh 10 offices assigned to airlines which means we will need to get some more offices going now if we go up here we can see that there is one room here which i am planning on converting into a conference room like a pretty huge conference room we can have a couple of offices here too but these offices are not going to be dedicated offices uh because we can't fit 10 offices here and i can't go up another level which means we will have to have more office over here so that's the idea. The idea is to have more offices here for all the airline offices, but I do want to get myself uh, one conference room or maybe two conference rooms over here, which could be good. So let's quickly jump in here and let's go to the conference rooms. Uh, let's get a large glass table conference room. This should be good, like over here. And then let's get some chairs. Ooh, fancy chairs, but they don't look like chairs which go on a conference table. These two. All right, so that is one. I do recall that the conference room have this tendency to get filthy. So let's have two of these over here and then let's get the walls and the doors and the rest of it. 
Let's get windows all up in here. That's a nice little conference room. Let's get another conference room. Uh, probably not a large one. Oh, there are just large ones. We don't have small ones, do we? We have a small one. So we can have a small one here, I guess. Like so. Over here. And then we can get, we can actually clone the, clone the chairs, can't we? All right, and then let's clone some garbage bins. The walls come in there, so which means the garbage bin can go here. And if it goes here, there's no room for the wall. So let's put the garbage bin here and let's get the walls. Like so should be good. We can have a door there. Let's get the windows. And let's get ourselves a door over here. So what else do we need? Let's get some decorations. Mm. We could have some of these, like the big ones. We could have a fountain in here. That would be fun. Sure, why not? Uh, oh, these are huge. These are huge indeed. These are small, but I guess those go outside. We can have these over here. I guess that's fine. Uh, we need a floor, of course. What was the theme over here? Uh, let's clone you. Was it this? Oh yeah, it's that. So let's get that floor all up in here. Does that already have a floor? I don't know. But anyway, this is our conference room. All of our conference rooms are done, I guess, right now. So that should be that. That should be fine. can't go in there. Yeah, I guess it's it's done. All right. So we cannot have an office going over a road, which is unfortunate. But let's get the foundation down for the new office building, which goes over here. So I'm going to have it like let's actually have it from here. Of course, duh. Let's have it quite big actually. I mean, why not? Why can't we have a big office? There's nothing against that. I'm gonna extend the airport down this way if I want to. Now, another thing which I wanted to do was I wanted to get myself um, I wanted to get myself another runway here, a longer runway here. So I guess I will need to buy this and I will need to buy this and 
when I buy this, I can have a longer runway. But this is going to be quite expensive. So this is going to be 2 million here and this is going to be an additional, I don't know, 500,000 I guess. So we will be spending 2.5 million on that, which is, I mean, it's fine. It's not too bad, but yeah. So there's just one step set of stairs which are going down here. They're going down here. Um, do I want to change these things around? I might want to change where the kitchen is. I might want to change where the cafe is. The cafe is like spot on in the middle somewhere. I'd like to have the cafe in a corner. So, you know, people get to see the flights and whatnot when they're drinking their coffee. So that's nice. And then we can get more stores in here, which means I can move the kitchen. We can even move the kitchen here. There's, there's so much of space for shops that we have though. So much of space for shops, which is good, isn't it? It's always good to have more shops. More things for people to buy. Right. While we think about that, one thing that I wanted to do was get all the PA systems attached. Like I wanted to have good PA connection, good PA coverage. Right now we've got PA coverage here. Is there a display board coverage thingy that I can see? Information overlay. So that's where all the information systems are. I want to make it so that it's covered all through the airport, which is going to be an uphill task for sure. But let's go ahead with it anyway. So let's go to displays. Is it called a display board? It's called a display something, right? Yeah, flight info display. There's a big one. Big one gives us much better area of coverage, of course. So we can have one here. Actually, I'd like to have one here. So as soon as people come out, I'd like for them to see the display. So we can have one here and we can have one here which stands to reason we can have one behind as well so that would build up coverage in this area pretty much so that's good that's huge and then we can have it over here i guess So we can have one here and then we can have one here, one here. So that gives us coverage here, gives us coverage here, which is fine. I don't want to overdo it here. I'd like to have one here. And I'd like to have one here. That should be good. So as soon as they come up here, they can see the details here. They can see the details here. If they want to leave, they can see the details here and then leave if they want. I mean, I don't know if that's how the system is going to look at it, but that's how I'm looking at it. And then here, of course, once they come in, we can have the flight info systems over here. So we can have one here. So as soon as they come in, they can see where the flights are and then they can go up. We can actually fit a few here. I can't fit one there. Oh, that's a shame. But that's okay. Uh, now, when they leave, I don't think at baggage collection, they need to see where the flights are. So that's not particularly a priority. But over here, it makes sense. As soon as you come down the stairs, 
you can see where your flight is and you can go accordingly that's what you need and we should probably have one here probably like so so you come in here you see where your flight is they're like oh my flight's down in the next terminal so you just walk around here all the stores da 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 da, da. you forget what time your flight is and then you walk here and then you're like oh damn i'm 10 minutes late for my flight or i'm five minutes early for my flight maybe i'd like to go back and get something else so that's cool and let's get one here should it be this way or should it be let it be this way so you come up here and you're like okay so where's my flight now and then you can check out your flight there so that's good go up here of course you've got it at the gates uh what time your flights are wait this kit doesn't have any of the flight timing thingies why is that placed it right behind right so i placed it here and here same goes for this all right so those flight displays will tell us if you are at the correct place in fact and what time your flight's leaving so that's good we can have one here so as soon as you come up there and those are for going down i guess That's all right. We can have one here. Yeah, this is seems like there's very few escalators. There's a lot of backlog here. These people are leaving though. So I don't mind there being a backlog for people leaving. I just want there to be no backlog for people arriving. Because the arriving pipeline is what's important for me. The leaving pipeline is not as important. Nobody is going to make a decision on whether or not they're going to fly into an airport based on how much of a queue there is for you to clear your immigration or how long it takes for you to get out. I mean, I don't think anybody makes a decision. At least nobody in my world makes a decision based on that. It's just what's the cheapest flight I can get. Oh, it's going to take me two hours extra, but then I can save $100. Yeah, sure. I'll save the $100 and let it cost me two hours extra. I'll just get an earlier flight to go there if that's what it boils down to. That's how it works in my world. So this is actually good coverage. There's good coverage here. There's good coverage here. There's, there's basically no coverage here, but I don't know if, I mean, we can actually get, let's get to on the other side as well. Uh, it's not that expensive and I don't know if it's going to be relevant, but maybe you're standing in line and you're like, Hey, what time is my flight and you can just turn back and you can see what time your flight is so of course i'm not putting any here because you clear this and there's nothing else to do here so once you clear this you can just go here and see this i don't think you have to be able to cover 100 percent of the ground that i don't think is how it works it's just where most of the people are you need to cover that uh, having said that, we don't have coverage here near the stores where a lot of people can be hanging out. So maybe we want to get some of those double sided display boards. Although I might be changing all of this. So do I need to, do I want to? I mean, why not? Let's just get these. We have the space, so let's get them and then we can think about moving them later if we do want to move them.
I think that's pretty good coverage. It's not too bad. Uh, let's jump up and let's try and get some stores here. I mean, I didn't want to get stores here, but then now we've done this. So there's like lesser space, less room for us to get the stores in here. I can probably get one store here and then one here, probably one here. So that's three stores. We can get a store here. I don't want to hinder their movement though. So I am not sure. Maybe a store in the middle would be enough over here. And then we can get a store here or a cafe here and that would be enough. And then we come down and um, the kitchen, 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 kitchen. Do I want to move the kitchen? I don't want to move the kitchen actually. Well, let's see. This is done. So uh, I'm going to put a quick cut in this video. When I get back, we will fill this up with offices and we will start trying to see if we can get uh, more office buildings to come in. So do like and subscribe if you like the content that I'm putting outside. Do comment if you think anything is comment worthy and I'll be back in a quick bit with the next episode. Until then, take care now. Bye bye then.